we need to have a conversation. Yesterday, I was on drugs. Some would even say I was tripping. And while I was tripping, I was watching the brand new episode of Better Call Saul. Everybody, if you haven't seen it yet, I need you to shut the fuck up. Don't say, oh, oh, in the chat room. Don't do the, oh, yo, 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 yo. Don't do that. Leave. Leave. Get the fuck out. Don't get spoiled. I swear to God. I swear to God, if you let me spoil this fucking shit, I will be pissed. So anyway, I was, uh, <clears throat> as people might say, tripping on drugs. And this episode came on. I have been saying um, for uh, the last season of Better Call Saul, I've been watching every episode while on shrooms. You know, the amount that I do varies. You know, I try not to go too hard because I want to be able to follow the plot. You know, I want to be able to remember what's going on. So I don't I don't want to slip into the, the gone zone or anything. But anyway, um, I... Uh, I was very, 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 very much so on drugs when I watched this. Now, again, the last episode ended setting up a Breaking Bad. The last episode, which, god damn, I'm still recovering from the last episode. Sets up Saul sitting in his desk in the Breaking Bad era. I was thinking, all right, you know what I want? I, I'm more interested in the gene verse. Like, I'm... I'm excited to see Jesse and Walt. I'm excited to see them in a Breaking Bad scene. I'm excited. That excites me. I get why people are interested in that. Me, I am less interested in that. If I want to see Jesse and Walt, you know what? There's a whole show with Jesse and Walt, motherfucker. All right? I'm going to go watch that show. But I'm more interested in the Gene verse, right? Is 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 Gene going to track down Kim Wexler and find out that, like, Kim Wexler, like, you know met someone else and has like two kids now or something and then he's gonna gonna he's gonna kill himself you know like who knows right what's gonna happen here right and man okay so i'm more interested in the gene verse right that's my setup and so again i am on drugs okay i am like really fucked up on drugs so when better call saul starts and it gets into the black and white. You in, you immediately see the black and white. The thing I love about the Gene verse and this episode is the whole episode is black and white. The whole episode is black and white, right? There's no other episode of Better Call Saul where the entirety of it is black and white because the Gene segments are usually at the start of a season and it'll be like an opening pre-introductory sequence, right? But I love, like, the black and white part, I love it. I mean, I love it in general as a way to, to show the gene timeline, right? But, like, just as an, art, as an artistic art form, holy shit. Oh, the, it's, this episode with the camera angles, it's just the camera. I mean, again, I am, I am tripping, right? The way that the camera angles were working. I love the montage scene when he's got the Cinnabon. So anyway, this, I'm getting ahead of myself. This episode, the whole thing being Gene. I was thinking the intro rolls. And then the intro, by the way, let's talk about the intro. I'm losing it, folks. I, when I was watching this show, I was losing it. I was, I was gone. I was not in this world. I was one with the, with the program. So anyway. When the intro starts and then the intro is so glitchy, it just goes to like a VHS like screen. Oh, that was good. That was good. I was so into that. That was great. But I mean, like the intro starts and I'm thinking, okay, I understand. The last four episodes, each one's going to start with a gene sequence. Right. Okay. And then there's going to be the Breaking Bad. And then it's going to be Gene Sequence, Breaking Bad, Gene Sequence, Breaking Bad. And then maybe the last episode would be a Gene. Nope. They gave it to us right here. They The whole episode was Gene. Again, I'm losing it, right? I don't, I don't know. I didn't expect that. I was expecting the reverse. And anyway, so this episode, the whole episode is that Gene, right? He was, uh, he was caught for being Saul 
by somebody, right? And in a way to like turn down the heat that he is feeling, he does a classic scam, right? He breaks the law in a classic way, but it's so good, right? Because it's hard to tell what's happening, right? Until you realize that like he's helping the mother of the, the cab driver or whatever, that guy. And, and, um, it's just so good. I mean, it's like when he walks in or whatever, it's just so good. Oh, I mean, this episode, I was losing it. I was losing it. I was like, my eyes were like, my pupils were like, right? I was in another world when I was watching this last night. I was blown away like the Cinnabon with the security guards and then the scenes where he's talking to the security guards but he's faking it like everything like I, oh my God. like when the security guards talking about the sports teams and then like you see like a closes up on Saul's face right and he's like oh yeah what's with those guys or whatever and he has no fucking idea he has no idea what he's talking about like he is like like he's doing his like just fake it like he's it's so good i oh it was so good um and then uh so anyway the scam is to distract the guards while someone goes in and steals a bunch of shit okay that's the scam and so what he does is he builds up a friendship with the security guards it's great it's wonderful right the scene where the actual scam is going on that night um oh it was so good i mean the anxiety now again i am i am peaking i am peaking on the mushroom right now the anxiety i was feeling during the scam portion right because it looks at the clock every once in a while he's got like a wristwatch right and then like the guy like is making mistakes and he's like grabbing four of something he's only supposed to grab three of right he's being greedy that moment when he's running and he slips and falls, I, I had a heart attack. I, I, my heart jumped out. My heart jumped out of my chest. I had a heart attack, motherfucker. Oh my God, I was losing it. And then, that, then that's the, the part where Gene like pretends to be suicidal and depressed and he, you know, he wants to kill himself and he talks to the guard about it to distract him. Just hoping, just hoping, right? Just fucking... As a last ditch, who knows if we're fucked either way. Let's just, right, hoping that he's going to wake up or get up. Because the guy who slips, who's doing the scam on the security camera, he falls down. He's out. But then he wakes up and he gets back just in time. It was so good. I lost it. This ep was amazing. This is probably the best episode of Better Call Saul yet. It's better than the one where Howard dies. I mean, for sure. It's the best. It's best. Better than any episode of Breaking Bad. It's up there with the Fly episode of Breaking Bad, that one's also, like, just abstract art, right, within the universe, right, that's what this was a little bit of, but this is the best episode, I, I think, I like it, it's just, it was so good, it was so good, and I know I say every episode is the best episode, because it's just every, it, it's a progressive linear order, every episode is better than the previous one, but this is a banger. I'm excited to see what they do next. I know they got to do a Breaking Bad scene because they did tease that Walt and Jesse are in the show. But, um, goddamn, what an F. Because, again, the thing that's so good about this episode is that knowing all the context, like, if you just watch an episode out of context, it's not going to mean that much. But, like, all the context, right? Everything that's happened in every episode of Better Call Saul and every episode of Breaking Bad, like, this is the most, like, chronologically speaking, in the universe of this show and these shows, right? This is the most recent or, like, the, the furthest in the future thing. And, like, he's just trying to live a little and he's trying to have, like, a classic scam for the general, uh, adrenaline rush. And he, the best thing also is that he doesn't even take any of the profits, like, he was in it just for the scam. Like, that's the only fun part. He doesn't need the money. But again, that's why this, this episode is the best. Because with all the context from every other scene in the whole show, right, the character is unchanged. Like, the through line of Jimmy all the way to the end is unchanged. 
it's a show. I mean, it's the best show I've ever seen. I mean, I will say this. Like, Better Call Saul, now, this is the best show I've ever seen. I've never seen a better television program. Like, maybe we can have, like, a battle with, like, cartoons that I am nostalgic for, like, that I watched as a kid. That's possible, right? Like, you know, it's Better Call Saul, better than Courage the Cowardly Dog. I don't know, right? Like, who knows, right? It's just, it's I, I can't possibly have that conversation. But out, out of side of that category of nostalgic cartoons, it's the best show ever made. I mean, I don't, it's it's better than Breaking Bad. I mean, by, by a huge margin. I mean, it's just, it's a great show. Can't get over it. And honestly, I won't get over it. So, there you go. Got a tip jar. If anyone wants to give me, <laughs> if anyone wants to give me some cash money, 